Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Back at the farm yet again, and uh, well, we got a, we got an exciting we got a, blah, 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 blah. words are difficult. We have an exciting day planned. We're gonna go work on the brute bakery. We've got some work to do. We got to make sure there's plenty of cover for the bass when we put more bass in there. We're gonna make sure there's plenty of cover. So we're gonna probably go chop down some trees, and that's pretty much it. It's just gonna be a typical farm vlog, you know. Just you never know what's gonna happen. Be, did you just cast the bandito bug against that? You get, getting your shot. trick shots in, dude. What if a fishing trick shot? We should film a fishing trick shot video at the farm. You rip it on the tractor and like roll casting. Yeah. That'd be dope. Yeah. You don't seem that excited. I don't know what that means, but sure. We, we're probably gonna go fishing too. We're gonna take the squeaker seeker on the brute bakery and we're gonna fish, we're gonna knock down trees. Oh, we gotta go check on the duck blinds. We have not checked on the duck blinds since the day it flooded, which was like almost two months ago, like a month and a half ago. There's still water. There's plenty of water at the farm. It is still flooded. So we're gonna rip up the old uh, tank and see if we can, uh, what are, you, are you good, bro? And see if we can, uh, see if the duck blinds are still there. But that's pretty much it. It's gonna be a lit farm vlog. You guys stay tuned. That right there, folks, that is, uh, that's the old duck blind. It's not looking too good. Is that what I think it is? Is that a goose? Is that a goose nesting on top of the blind? Is that what that is? Yes. No way, we have to go look at that. Well, this is the blind, there's a blind over there. I looked over, there's a goose laying on top of it. Sheesh, how deep do you think this water is still? Probably three? Two, three feet. Two, three feet still? The water was over the top of this, so the water's actually gone down. You can see where the corn stalks kind of were. It's, it's probably gone down three feet, probably another three to go. And uh, yeah, the blinds look like absolute crap right now. They do not look good. I don't know if we're gonna be able to fix these guys up or what the plan is, but no time soon are we gonna be using these things or doing anything. I mean, this has to really dry up a lot. For us to come in here with a truck and a trailer, it might be freaking September. We might be just leave them here and be hunting in them with the, with the water. I don't know if we're gonna even be able to get them out before then because the water's not gonna go down anytime soon right here because the, the Ducks Diner's right here. But wow, that's crazy that there's a goose over there. It's like taunting us. It's just sitting there like, hey, I don't know what it's saying, but it's just saying, hey. Ooh, she looking good. We have not taken this sucker out in quite some time. But now it's time to go cut down some trees. Maybe bring, well, what do we bring? Two Cheeto Banditos and a Ned Rig. Uh, we brought some fishing tackle, so we're gonna go fishing. And we're also gonna cut down uh, some uh, trees and uh, do some other fun things. And uh, it'll be a good time, you guys stay tuned. That'll do it. We're good. Minor issues here. Found a new battery. Battery was dead, we're good to go. Well, first tree right here looks pretty dead to me. We're gonna cut it down. As you can tell, it's kind of towards the water, but it doesn't do a whole lot of good because I mean, it's sitting in a foot of water. But if we lay this thing down and it stays here, it's gonna create some great cover for some bass. So, first step, fire up the old chainsaw. kind of a botch so far. Got a dull chain and the chain popped off. We almost got one tree done. I think I can tie a rope to it and topple it over. That actually worked out better than expected. But I don't think we can do that again. The chain fell off the chainsaw. The chainsaw chain is dull. That was way too much work to get this one tree. But you guys can see what I'm talking about here. It's still connected and it's a perfect little shade blanket for any largemouth that are lurking so that worked all it took was uh 30 minutes with a dull chainsaw and a boat here we go since i can't function a chainsaw properly we're just gonna fish we're just gonna go bass fishing actually oh i gotta change colors you know okeechobee is not bad with this clear water you gotta go with some uh something a little bit more natural oh yeah cheeto bandito green freaking pumpkin it don't get no better than that son we're gonna go flipping flipping and pitching Bonzo's just throwing the old Ned. You've actually got a chance of catching some fish. Bonzo, I don't know about us. I mean, we're going after bass, which there's probably not a great bass population in this lake, so. Not super high hopes, but hey, we gotta try it. But Bonzo, on the other hand, he's got the dangle stick for uh, pretty much all sorts of species. Crappie, green sunfish, bluegills, bass. 
Yeah, sniff that. Open, sniff, catch. That's what we're doing today. We're getting on the juice here. Oof. Let's go. If there's anything on this the big old tree come on big large mouth get yourself some boy it's gonna happen right here yep got him first cast first cast test what i'm talking about boys look at that the old wacky rig net rig look at that guy sheesh you want to cook him up later Nah, we'll, we'll give them, we'll give them, we'll give them back, back into the water so our bass can go eat them. I got one. Oh, that's a, what is that? Oh, it's a crappie. Bonzel with the freaking paper thin crappie. Yup. Sheesh, what'd you get it on? Little wacky rig Ned? Yep, yep. that's never been done. Yep. Boom, game changer. Yup. See you later, dude. Well, folks, so far we've, uh, well, we're about to crash, so. John, just heads up. We're crashing. Caught a green sunfish. Caught a crappie. So far, no sign of bass. There's a couple more laydowns we're going to flip. We're going to shoot this cut, see if they're up inside the cut. And, uh, and yeah, that's pretty much it. There's got to be something back here. I feel like it's got to be, like, one of the better spots for the bass, though. Back to the Cheeto Bandito. Oh, oh, I got one. Hang on, it's not a bass, though. He's, he's got it, he's got it. Oh, he dropped it, he dropped it. That was, I feel like that was like a decent-sized one. A little greeny. Let's see if I can get him to chase it out. Yeah, what kind of muffin is this? Where? Where's it at? I, I can't see it from here. Oh. What is that? Well, honestly, the only mushrooms I've ever heard of people eating is like morels. So. It looks like a morel. To I don't. Me. I don't know what they look like though. Did you? Were you? Yeah. Were you a big morel guy back in the day? You can see. You can see Bonzo just like ripping through the creeks and stuff as a little kid. Like, look, Dad, I got another one. Well, let's go pick it and then let's look up a photo. We should like look at it before we pick it instead of. Are they? Are there? Are there poisonous ones? I think there might be. Yeah. Really? Maybe that's part of the challenge. See who dies. You just eat, eat all the mushrooms you find. That's a terrible idea. Don't do that. What do they look like? Are they like yellow? Is that thing yellow? It's like it's like a sponge. It's, it's, it looks a little. Well, that's what I think. Isn't that what all they all look like though? Oh no, that's exactly that's, what that looks like. Thing. Oh yeah. That's oh it. oh, bro, let's go get that. So Bonzo jumped off. He's gonna go grab this thing. It look. It honestly looks just like the photo. But we brought it. We better like so, go down. It's on the other side of it. Cheese and rice. That's big. You know, since the brute bass aren't biting, maybe we'll just start chewing on them. Can you eat them like sushi? Just raw. Just pop them. Let me see these things. Holy crap! Big. Oh, dude, these are weird. So you, this, you're, you're positive. That's what these are. Like, have you, you remember your hunting days? Oh yeah. Trees have giant thorns right in my back. Ow. We're on the move. Just keep looking. Ow. I'm getting stabbed. Keep looking, boys. That was a good find. That one was like popping way out, though. I feel like, I feel like it might not be as easy. That was a big one too. Yeah. I've literally never done this before. Oh, I found one. I, what the heck? There's one right here. That would literally took like three seconds. He's just sitting, chilling. He's just chilling right here. Look at this guy. Oh shoot! Look at that. Look at that guy. That'll work, I think. We got to be careful. We got to find. I wonder if I feel like Kyle or somebody's probably done this more than us. We need to like have them like double check, like make sure we're not. Cause I think like this one's a lot darker than the other one. We need to make sure we don't die. But there's another one right here. Okay, hold up. I think I might have found the juice, boys. There's one right here. Look at this little guy. Just a little guy. Look at that. Dude, I found two already. I feel like this is like, I feel like people like act like this is really hard. Not saying that's easy, but maybe we just stumbled on the juice on accident. I don't see any more. I think that, that first one literally just popped out and I was like, oh shoot, that's one right there. And then the other ones were like hiding under leaves, it looked like. But you have to like stop and look. Like if you're walking and looking, I feel like you're never gonna find anything. Also, we should probably look like closer to the water. Why don't we just, uh, let's just rip through here and then maybe take the boat to another cut. And just kind of just maybe use the boat. It'd be a lot easier than walking. All right, well, how many did we find? I got two in my pocket. 
Why do mine look like cheeks, bro? Mine are more like fresh. Why do mine look like cheeks? Are they supposed to be both colored though? Is my question. I don't know. I've seen them this color before. You ever seen them this color? I, mean, I think that's like a really big difference. We won't put them in our mouth until we figure that out. That kind of weirds me out. But we're gonna go to the next spot. We're gonna use the boat to rip around and hope find some more mushrooms. You guys stay tuned. Yeah. Bro, this bank might be loaded. One right there, yeah, yeah, one yeah. right there. Oh, hell yeah. One right there. Oh, shoot. We just found the absolute mother load. I saw one. We're, we were literally driving back to the boat ramp. We're like, all right, put the boat on the trailer. Dude, I'm seeing like 20 of them. I'm seeing them. They're all up in the hill. I saw one, and we pulled up, and we're seeing like, I would say we'll probably pull at least, dude, probably 15 to 20 right here. Oh, dude, there's some right here. Dude, they're everywhere. Look at them. There's five right oh, here. Yeah. Oh, we're about to go ham. Okay, all right, all right, all right, all right, chill. Let's get this bread. All right, so I, yeah, go ahead and get up. I'll climb up. Oh yeah, we found a whole bunch. Yeah, just be careful where you're walking too. Cause, yeah. Ow, that one right through me. There's thorns here. Here's one. Here's one. Got one. I'll just toss them on the deck. Here's two. Yeah, it's like you, once you find one, just keep, just stare. Yeah. Like I just found two that I didn't see. Oh, there's a whole clump up here. Oh my gosh. Look at this. One, two, three, four, five, six in one spot. Two, three, four, five, six. We got a big old wad right there. One little spot. This is crazy. Oh, I see a whole bunch. Oh, dude, I found some giant ones. One right here. One right like 10. How many you got, Andrew? This one's pretty good size. One, two, three, four. It's like a little baby. They'll grow again and come get them later. All right, just found 10 in this one little area. We haven't even like walked. This is kind of hard to like walk around. There's thorn trees and Andrew's over there finding a bunch, but this is the juice. Oh, here we go. Here's two more. Oh, I'll get these two little guys. Well, I know, I've just about stepped on one. Oof, there we go, little guy. Oh, there's another one. Oh, yeah, that'll eat. Hey, can you, uh, you want to try to catch all these or something? Yeah. Why don't you just give me the bag? Yeah. Oh, shoot, cheese and rice. Oh, that's huge. Cheese and rice, son. We just about stepped on her. Gotta be careful. Oh, my God, that's a Megalodon, dude. Bro, we're eating good. Dude, I know. So that's two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Found ten. Yes, sir. All right, let's keep going. We're going ham, boys. We found the freaking juice. Oh, dude, I found another big one. Oh, oh, yeah, baby. There's another one. Found two more. That's 12 for me right on the spot. Bonzo's found 12. 24 in this little area. And we've literally walked like 10 feet. I'm assuming there's a bunch more. We just gotta keep the eyes peeled. They're actually kinda hard to see. Once you find one, if you just kinda stare at an area, usually you can you can see a couple more, but they are pretty easy to miss, that's for sure. There's more down here that I saw earlier. What do we got? Four right here. I'm sure there's more. Oh, this one's pretty big. Decent size. It's five. Oh, one right here. Good in. All right, I'm back in the boat. Picked up three. Look at this. Look at this bag, baby. They're loaded. Boys, how many you got? Eight. Sheesh. Oh, f I missed one. Oh, f I missed two. Oh, yeah, I see three, two or three that I missed. All right, let's just go get this bread. Two more. Oh, sh oh God. I just about died. We're good. Priming it. Well, we, uh, Got the boat back up on the trailer, but I mean, there's plenty of forest around here. So we're gonna go gander for a little bit more. Not like we need any more, not like we're feeding a small village, uh, but we wanna get as many as we can, obviously. And then we probably should keep this up. You guys are enjoying the morale mushroom hunting episode. That wasn't really supposed to be that ep of an episode, but it is now. If you guys are enjoying it, let me know. We'll keep doing it because the season is still, it's pr still pretty young. We're just getting started, but we're gonna keep looking for a few more and then we gotta go cook these things up. I'm actually excited. I've, I think I've had these maybe once when I was maybe like, eight years old. I'm excited. You guys stay tuned. Sheesh. Buddy's hitting the gym. Woo. What's hey. up, buddy? Hey. Come here. Oh, you come here. You're okay? Oh, okay. All right, I'll pet you. Good boy. No, I mean, you leave the stem, you just break off the dirt root part. Oh, got it, okay. And just chuck the dirt. So you keep that. I part. mean, I always like eating the stems and oh, stuff okay. as much as you can. Got it, okay.
Look at that a couple times, really good. Sheepish guy. We got 10, 10 of the 47 mushrooms in here. We're supposed to, you're supposed to soak them in salt water for, and Kyle might have been saying a couple hours. Well, we got about 30 minutes. We'll give it 30 minutes. The rest of these, we're gonna pass them out, give them to family, friends, stuff like that, because we don't need to eat them all, obviously. We just wanna eat enough. Basically, so yeah, give them a little taste test, a little appetizer before dinner type thing. So, let these guys soak for 30 minutes, and uh, we'll start cooking. You guys stay tuned. I'm excited. He said we haven't, I had personally have had these, I don't think ever. Maybe when I was younger, but I don't really remember. But we had got Kai dogs here somewhere. He's doing farm things. And we got Riggs, Riggs is here. But Kyle, he's like a big end of this. So like he's gonna be the taste that should be like, you guys are straight cheeks at cooking or not. We're gonna find out here, but we just did the basic egg flour. Nothing else, nothing too crazy. We normally go with the Franks, which we're gonna do in a little bit. We're gonna kind of put them side by side. We wanted them into the traditional way and then the flare way. I and mean, they've been going for about five minutes. I feel like they should be darker than that. That looked pretty like doughy and undercooked. Uh-huh. Well, I think they should be darker than this. We've got a theory. We have a theory that this uh, Weston fryer that I bought for, I think, like $17 at Walmart is not up to standard as far as, you know, having the high, high enough heat for this. Because this, this thing was going for, honestly, close to 10 minutes, and they uh, it wouldn't get any darker. We were waiting for it to get darker, but they, they don't really look that bad. So I think let's shove them on the plate and... Kyle's gonna be the taste tester because he's uh, he's a morel mushroom connoisseur, and he'll tell us if these are buns or not. Is it hot? It's pretty hot. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Is it really? Is it really mm -hmm. hot? Needs salt. It needs salt. Mm hmm. It's like, no, they're you... good. It's I don't I can't I couldn't remember if you dip them in flour first and then egg, but I taste a lot of flour on you it taste right flour. now. Yeah, it, I like them a little more ranch? eggy. So it tastes it tastes like flour. I'm gonna try. I'm gonna try this big old one. I'm pretty good. No, I'm saying it's bad. No, but I think it's cooked all right. Yeah, I think it cooked okay. But yeah, I it could use some more like flavor. I mean, it was just eggs the and salt just flour, helps. no salt, pepper. Yeah, we could have like went ham on some other seasonings. Pretty good. No, yeah. is it better than you expected I, or worse or the, about what you expected? No, I had high expectations for this one, so I think it's good. Do you want to make it better though? It what? Ranch. Bro, nobody puts ranch on this. Let me know if you guys put ranch. I feel like nobody should put ranch on these. You think it'd be better with just butter? butter? It'd be a lot more, more flavorful, yeah. Maybe you guys should comment down below because I feel like this is a kind of a popular thing to cook. I feel like they could taste it better than they do. It's not that they don't taste good, but like for all the hype that it's getting, definitely people cook them better than we do because it would not get the hype if they cooked them like we do. But not, they could definitely be better. So comment down below, what, what do you, how do you guys normally cook them? And uh, I mean, the season's still young. We can go do another another episode. I'm not, I'm not mad when I hunt stuff down and eat it. So what are we going to do now? Is this, gonna, this is the flare version? Yep. All right. This is going to be a power move. This was suggested by Kyle. We're going to put it with the egg. That way you get the fry of the egg, but you get the taste of the franks. Boom. Game changer. Yep. Get that stir game on, son. Yep. That's going to do it. Should we, should we attempt a double dip on a couple of them? So when we take them out of the flour, rip them through the franks again and toss them in. Yeah. Right. On like half. Yeah. Okay, let's try it. So we should start with the the double dip first because they might take longer to cook. We're gonna do a couple double dip actions like this. Oof, game changer. This could be a total botch. I have no idea. Dude, these look way better. Like, the double dipped ones look absolutely amazing. Yeah, the, this got actually hot, like yeah. it should. I think the plug was the deal. We kind of botched that, but they'll still be all right. These will be good. Way hotter though. Oh, dude, this is gonna be unreal. Is that Beautiful. not the most golden brown Beautiful. mushroom you've ever seen in your life? Well, How many times better is that? You get the taste there's, of it. There's way better the, taste. It's not dry. It was overcooked the first time. Way overcooked. Non-double dipped, and see what's your favorite. Non-double dip. Yeah. I think I'm probably a fan of the non-double dip. Yeah. 
Because that one get, I just ate get, was really good. You get more mushroom taste. It's a little bit like crispier because the double dip's got, I mean, it's not, the double dip's not bad, but the non-double dip is crispier. You get more mushroom taste, less Franks. Less Franks, yeah. If you don't like the taste of mushrooms, do the double dip because it literally will just taste like Franks, which is not a bad thing, again. But the, you could, there's dude, a the, sing, the, single, the single dip is better. Yeah. I think the single dip is better. The key, the, the reason why the first round failed is because we had it plugged into this, the workbench, and my theory is that the, oil wasn't hot enough, it wasn't getting enough power. Either that, we put them all in at one time. I did them one by one this time, which probably keeps the oil temperature higher. Basically, we had too cool of oil, and that's the reason why the first batch was a batch. Second batch, bingo. 